Hello and welcome back. In this section, we will cover working with the interface builder. We will cover creating an adaptive UI with auto layout. We will look at constraints and how to use them in Xcode 9. We will see how we can troubleshoot constraints and where we can view more detailed information about constraints. And we will see how we can use the assistant editor to preview our different layouts. In this video, we will cover creating an adaptive UI with auto layout. We will take a look at what an adaptive UI is and how we can start building one. Designing for an adaptive layout means being able to have our UI change based on the screen size. So here we have device orientation and we can see portrait upside down, landscape left and landscape right. We're going to uncheck the landscape ones and just design our app right now for portrait. Go to entry list storyboard and we can see that we have our portrait mode and our table view. But down at the bottom here, we have different size screens. We have our iPad screens and our iPhone screens. We've currently been designing for the iPhone 8. But if we select the iPhone SE, we can see how our UI in our main storyboard changes. We can also select the orientation and see how it changes. Notice that our table view does not take up the whole screen when we switch to the landscape orientation, but when we select our portrait orientation, it takes up the whole screen. There's something called auto constraint that will allow us to adapt to these different screen sizes, and we can pin to different edges and set height, width, and aspect ratio. And we can also choose alignment such as horizontal and vertically within the container, and we can also have Xcode add missing constraints for us or reset to suggested constraints.